Welcome, 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 Internet, to Slay the Spire. We are playing as the Abyssal today. A seaborn sorcerer brought in with the tide. Vanquisher vanquishes foes with his versatile arsenal of cannonballs. Right click to permanently replace this with a cannon trinket relic based on your current act. Don't know what that means, but we're gonna. Yes! Love the motion! Alright. First thing is elites. I'm gonna. I gotta get really lucky. Okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's a tutorial. Thank you to whomever made this uh, for adding in a tutorial. The Abyssal uses a cannon to make their cannonball attack cost zero or to retain both the cannon and the cannonball. Okay. Their gunsmith's bible starter relic lets you choose to start using the cannon at any point. Deferring this decision until a later act grants additional benefits for using the cannon such as applying vulnerable to enemies or gaining strength. Right click on the starter relic at any point in the run will permanently replace it with the corresponding cannon trinket relic. For your first run it's strongly recommended that you take the cannon immediately. Okay. So don't play it. Uh, enemy loses one strength and gains two ink. Ink is the next time this enemy would deal damage prevent damage equal to the ink value. Deal that much damage to the enemy and then remove that much ink. Apply volatile ink. Ink is removed from enemies at the end of the turn instead of during damage. When you bury a card, exhaust it and gain four block. Whenever you use energy, gain one temporary strength for each energy spent. Uh, we'll, we'll take that one. Alright. So. Mysterious. This card cannot be upgraded outside of combat. Okay, that's fine. That's the upgrade in combat, I guess. Uh, deal 10 damage for one. Deal 16 damage. Bury all non-attack cards in your draw pile. And bury... Oh, of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't pull it up for me. There's that card again. Remove all ink from an enemy. I'll take the one cost 10 damage. That's pretty... That's actually pretty decent. Alright, zero cost. Uh, cost one more for each card buried this combat. So, it basically... Don't bury cards. Got it. One for you and one for you. Damn, I didn't make it to the boss. Deal 20 damage. The first time you play this card, each combat lose 15 gold. Ugh. Deal 5 damage. Yeah. Upgrade. That does 13 damage. Yeah, I want that to cost a 0. Because if I'm gaining... Uh, strength based off energy. I don't need to spend the energy to use that card. Alright, so... Oh, I should have played that first. <clears throat> Sequencing! While this card is in your hand, retain one cannonball, so it'll retain that. Okay. I can deal with that. You don't have any ink, so that's pointless. Deal five damage if the enemy has ink. Uh, deal. Sure. Let's 
still not burying cards. So I get the strength that turn, basically. Ooh, Gremlin Horn. Oh, I was clicking too fast. Son of a bitch. Okay, decent. Dig, return a card from your discard pile to your hand and upgrade it. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, all things considered, that's not a terrible card to get. Um, that's the most I can do for that one. Oh, nice. And they're giving me a uh, week, too. I need more attacks. I don't have enough attacks, dude. Oh my god, I am legitimately going to die. From that piece of garbage. Get out of here. Upgrade that. Yes, yeah, son. Let's go. All right now. Let's go. All right. Deal eight damage. Put this card on top of your draw pile. Reduce its damage by two. Exhaustive three. No. I still haven't found anything that gives me ink. Oh man. That was a good move. Go ahead and get that 5 max HP. Let's go. Does 6 damage gain in energy? The first time you play this, each combat. Uh, nope. I'm gonna... So that essentially just makes that a zero cost card. Basically. I will retain it. Good, good. So I think if I hit him with that, hit him with that. Mm. I didn't gain any block, that was dumb. Apply 5 ink. Deal 7 damage and apply 7 ink. So having a lot of reload cards would be decent too. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Ooh, I'm glad I have that. Oh, god. Less. Your first attack each combat deals eight additional damage. Deal four damage whenever you bury. Return this. Remove all ink from the enemy. No. Wow, two HP. This is gonna be fun. Oh. oh, I guess that card exhausts. Eighteen, huh? I'll get something. Hmm. That's 
still won't kill me. What is that? What was that, yo? I just want to upgrade that one. 10 damage and 9 ink. I'm going to take 6. Nah, I'd rather do that than take 1. Oh my god, this is going to be cutting it so close. So close, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, there's a big hit. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouchies. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Psh. That was stupid. Ugh. Uh, let's try it again. I will take a random common relic. Start the battle with ten. Uh, start the combat with ten block. Not bad. Jesus, twenty block. Oh, Psst. I didn't even need. To, I didn't even need to block. Honestly, that was dumb. Voila. Whenever you would lose HP this turn, receive that much bleeding instead. At the end of your turn, lose HP equal to half your bleeding, and then reduce your bleeding by that amount. <clears throat> so that's actually a decent card. Deal 8 damage to all enemies when this card is upgraded, remove it from your deck. I just hope there's no, like, random upgrade to it, you know? Uh, future card rewards have one additional card to choose from. Uh. Um, I liked the dig aspect. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> oh, thank God. It didn't upgrade the one that would go away. I gotta remember, I start combat with friggin' 10 block. Boom, baby. Apply three ink to all enemies. Gain a volatile ink. It is removed from enemies at the end of combat instead of during battles. Okay. I'm gonna go this way because there's a fire in between two elites, and that's decent. Oh my god. Well, I'm dumb. We won't talk about it. We just. We won't even mention it. Oh, God. Ugh. I'm gonna throw up. What the hell, dude? Shit. Already close to dying. Love it. So stupid. Pawn pickup, get three purple card rewards. 
All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take the zero eight damage. Then let's do follow up. Conclude and let's we'll skip on that last one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gonna heal. Oh, oh God, <sighs> it's the worst. I remember this time. <sighs> yeah, that's no good. <laughs> hey, it worked. Oh my god. I live to see another turn. Let's go. Alright. Whenever you play a card, apply one ink to all enemies. That's decent. Yeah, I do like that. Every time you play three attacks, gain a strength. We're gonna heal. Duh. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and play that. So that way I can go ahead and... Strike. Gain seven block if this is the first card you played this turn. Gain three additional block. Bury card, draw a card. Lore innate unplayable. On one on draw, gain one vulnerable. Discard this. While this card is in your deck, its associated predator card will always spawn in non-boss card wars that have at least one rare. When the corresponding predator card is added to your deck, remove this from your deck and only spawn. Okay. So when you have that, it has a potential of, uh, okay, that's cool. I'm down. That was all I had. Okay, now I need to do as much damage as humanly possible. Take it. I'll take it. One, two, three. Gain seven block, apply five ink, bury two cards. The next cannonball you play, and the first cannonball you play each turn costs zero. That's pretty nice. Nope. I'm not going to lose more health than I need to. Not for a relic. If I don't get that one on like two shots, it ain't happening. Destroy. Oh, I literally need to deal one damage. There we go. That was not out. That, yeah, no, that was gonna suck. Defend, defend. What does that mean? Why does that thing keep popping up? Ouch. Ouch.
Mm-hmm. Damn it. Well, hell. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it as always, and I will see you on the next one.